This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Tuesday, January the 15th, 2019. It's the birthday of the American Baptist minister and civil rights icon who toward the end of a mostly bland and overly prepared sermon in 1963 set aside his text and after a pause looked out at the crowd and said, I say to you today, my friends, though even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. That pause and that word may well be responsible for more change than any speech in American history. King was a brilliant preacher who rose to prominence by improvisational preaching and by reading the room. He was convinced by civil rights leaders that the speech at the mall in 1963 was just too important for improvisation and he prepared a sermon with echoes of the Gettysburg Address and William Shakespeare. But as he neared the end of that speech, he realized that the people were not engaged and it wasn't landing in their hearts. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi, go back to Alabama, go back to South Carolina, go back to Georgia, go back to Louisiana, go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. It's a potent biblical theme, but King paused and realized that it wasn't the speech that the black community needed in that moment. That speech given in 1963 remains one of the most astounding pieces of oratory in American history. Today in 1981, another incredibly powerful civil rights milestone took place, this time in Rome, where a delegation from the Polish group Solidarity met with the new Polish Pope, John Paul II, less than two years in office. They were led by Lech Wałęsa. The Polish Pope knew the leadership. He knew the purpose of the organization because he had worked with them for years. They were fighting the communists with the same weapons that civil rights activists in America, like Martin Luther King Jr., and in India, like Mahatma Gandhi, were using. Nonviolence and appeals to genuine human nature. The defeat of the communists in Poland without a single shot fired remains one of the great and most unpredicted moments in human history. On par with the first peaceful exchange of power in Athens and the sudden withdrawal of the Mongol horde under Subutai during the rise of Genghis Khan. And finally today in 2001, a ridiculous experiment in what the internet could accomplish went online for the first time. A website powered by a technology invented by Ward Cunningham in 1994, the WikiWiki Web, was a totally collaborative editing system with no fixed arbiter of truth. The idea behind Wikipedia was that if someone made an error, on purpose or on accident, the community would fix it. The 1,000th article was online in 27 days and the 10,000th was online in 8 months. By 2005, 750,000 articles were online. Today, Wikipedia is the fifth most used website on the planet and is considered a genuinely reliable source for a great many topics, from complex science and math to modern culture. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.